My name is Megan Yai and I work for Mobius Mobility. Um, we're the company that manufactures the iBot power mobility device, which is what I'm sitting in. How do you describe a typical day at work? I'm the program manager for Mobius Mobility, so what that means is I'm in operations, um, really the day-to-day -day making sure um, that we complete our vision, which is getting iBots to the people that need them, so people who have mobility challenges. Um, so my day can consist of anything from helping figure out uh, how to ship a device across the country to um, working with uh, the manufacturing teams. So our manufacturer for the uh, power base is right downstairs from us, so I'm constantly working with them, um, implementing new uh, features and add-ons, um, different things that people will need, like lights or um, the ability to drive your vehicle from the iBot. Um, and also working with the engineering teams to help develop those things and launch them to market. So anything from normal day-to-day -day operations through to uh, you know, new commercializing new capabilities. What skills or education brought you to this job? I went to University of Vermont for uh, mechanical engineering. That's sort of what I always knew I wanted to do is go into engineering. Um, but I didn't want to be actually building the, the thing. I, I knew that my, um, my passion was more for helping people and especially helping people in the medical device world, which is where I found myself. Um, so I went directly from the University of Vermont um, to Dartmouth College for a master's in engineering management. So with that, the, the career path that I was on was really to figure out how to manage engineering teams and help commercialize technologies to help people. I, my first job right out of Dartmouth was as a product manager for hip and knee orthopedics um, at Medtronic, small company, mm -hmm. uh, largest medical device company in the world. Um, they, that was like the first opportunity I had to translate um, what the engineers were doing to what the customers, which in that case was surgeons, what they wanted. So my day-to-day -day there was really managing um, not only the product, but also l working to translate that language from surgeon customer to uh, engineer technology and the you know, product expert. Why did you choose Manchester? Realistically, I was brought to Manchester because that, that business unit at Medtronic uh, was completely shut down. They, they ended that project, which can happen in big companies. Um, and I was looking for a job. I had already kind of planted my roots here in, um, in New Hampshire on the seacoast. And I knew I didn't want to leave New Hampshire. Um, and I went to a, a networking night for um, medical device uh, right down, right down here on the mill yard, and uh, I, I talked to Dean Kamen, and I had had talked to him before um, when I had interviewed at Deca previously, and uh, he let me know, hey, well, talk to our HR and see if they, we've got a position for you. So that's how I found my way back here, uh, it, which is quite a, a serendipitous <laughs> um, experience. But you know, once I'd already. I'd really committed to living in New Hampshire and living in, in New England, um, and I didn't want to leave. And a lot of the other job opportunities I was seeing were taking you to you know, Silicon Valley or um, down to the DC area, and this is just where, where my, my heart was planted. <laughs> New Hampshire is wonderful. Um, it's beautiful year-round, even with the snow-coated streets that we have now. Um, but. I think I have the best, you know, the best life and the best time here, and um, anyone else can afford that too. In the summer, as I sail uh, on the seacoast, which is 30 minutes away, um, in the winters I ski on ski hills that are 30 minutes away, and I can go to a show in Boston, which is a little more than 30 minutes away, but it's it's all right here, um, and you know, every day, at least for me, working on the mill yard. I'm looking out at these out these enormous 15 foot high ceilinged windows at this babbling river, which is the Merrimack River, um, and it's just gorgeous. Um, so 
just today we walked um, all up to the dam um, on a, a walking meeting that I do on Friday mornings um, and then walked back down through Elm Street, grabbed a coffee and then headed back to our office building. So it's just a fantastic place to be and doing work when you have such a beautiful backdrop, I think makes everything a little bit easier. And our customers say the same thing. Our customers that come for their iBot training, they love hanging out here. And you know, we send them down the street to the foundry for dinner or up to Elm Street for whatever they may need. Um, and it's just really a compact, perfect little city. What kind of support did you have along the way? My support network um, leading up to college was realistically, um, well, my parents, but my, my dad in particular, uh, he was a chemical engineer for ExxonMobil for 40 years. And so engineering was always gonna be a part of what me and my little brother were going to be introduced to. Um, we like to joke that we didn't have an option, <laughs> but of course we did. Um, so that was really how I got to applying to college in an engineering discipline. Um, but beyond that, I've had a lot of mentors wherever I've gone. So whether that was in grad school, um, the, a professor there um, in, the, in the College of Engineering got me not only my internship, but that first job at Medtronic just through networking. You know, he, he knew the right people and I was the right match to what they were looking for. Um, and again, when I started my first job, um, my mentors there were who encouraged me to go to that networking night uh, on the mill yard when I was looking for a new job in the next step. Um, and same thing, uh, once I got to originally DECA and now Mobius Mobility, I have an infinite number of mentors there who have helped me just step between not only my own growth, but my ability to switch, switch roles when the next best thing kind of presented itself for me and I was able to be the right match to that opportunity. What do you see for opportunities for STEM growth in Manchester? I think one thing that's, well, at least for me, is I'm someone who I knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to go into medical device and I knew I wanted to help people. And that's how I found my way to where I am now and to, to the mill yard. But I think what is special about here, which somebody else could find who maybe doesn't know exactly what they wanna do or doesn't know um, where life might lead them is putting your roots here, you can find almost anything, um, especially in, in STEM and technology. So there's more, if you're more into like tissues and you know organs and 3D printing, there's companies doing that. If they're more into robotics and you know whatever that may be, there's com there's companies doing that. If you're into you know um, little trinkets and uh, whiz bang type things, there's companies doing that. So I was I was somebody who moved here and was laid off from a job and was able to pick back up into something that was even bigger and better. Um, so I think somebody who moves here and doesn't know what they necessarily wanna be doing is able to find what they might be the best at. Um, so, you know, it's all about your network and who you know. So there's lots of network to be had here.